We discussed exchange trade life cycle with their 10 steps. There is something like OTC trade life cycle, over the counter. Now, over the counter does not have exchange. They are members of ISDA, ISDA, International Swap Derivatives Association. We need to understand that, that what are the steps there? If I clearly say here, there is one step which is different or rather additional step taken in middle office. That is called trade affirmation. Why it is done? Because there is no exchange. So what is the evidence then with this stuff? So they write to the buyer and seller both. Are you in agreement with terms and conditions of the trade? If no, it is null and void. If yes, please confirm by email electronic mail taking affirmation from seller taking affirmation from buyer once the affirmation is done it's over because there is no other evidence there is no exchange there are no regulators only is there there is no SEBI here there is no SEC here there is no FC here please understand here so here comes the Three offices, front office, trading activities are trade initiation, trade execution, trade capture, you are well aware with. Middle office, trade enrichment, trade validation, trade verification and comes the seventh step, trade affirmation. Where you will take affirmation from buyer and seller both that they agree to all the terms and conditions. Once it is done. And please do not confuse affirmation with confirmation. Affirmation you are taking from buyer and seller. Confirmation you give. Either incoming or out. And the back office steps or core operations are trade confirmation, trade settlement, trade reconciliation. But please remember here I don't write regulatory reporting. It is transaction reporting to ISDA. Because here there is no regulator, OTC. So what are the OTC steps? Very simple. Front office, trade initiation, trade execution, trade capture, everything is same. Middle office, trade enrichment, trade validation, trade verification, stop here. Additional step, trade affirmation. Now here, they may ask you why affirmation is required. Because there is no exchange involved. There are no regulators. So we take confirmation from buyer and seller. This is called affirmation. And after that, you go to back office where there is trade confirmation, trade settlement. Then there is trade confirmation, trade settlement, followed by trade reconciliation. And last step, trade transaction reporting, but to ISTA. So I hope you had a nice session. And please go through that, revise that, and happy listening, happy going through it. Thank you all very much. I